Gator Pitch, Texas Custom Barbecue Pits. This is Rich Robin. I'm fixing to walk you through a gas grill and a pellet grill smoker combo. And there it is, guys. You actually have a gas grill on this side here with a sliding over food tray and a half upper removable. Control valves at the bottom, copper gas lines, brass fittings, and a half inch uh, brass or a half inch black pipe. The right side is your pellet grill, pellet smoker with our Smoke Daddy Pellet Pro 35 uh, pound hopper with the stainless steel upgrades being the top lid and the inside fire pot that are stainless. We also have the grease pans that are removable and there is a 11 gauge heat shield down below. That's an 11 gauge grease pan by the way with an 11 gauge uh, uh, heat shield down below. These do not warp under heat. You know a lot of these pellet grills, the grease pans and the heat shields all warp because they're really thin these aren't going to warp on you guys these don't warp the way we designed them and the quality of the thickness prevents them from warping under your temperature your high heat right so there's your smoke jetty pellet pro it does have the pellet dump digital display pid controller inside you've got your pellet area it does come with a meat probe or meat thermometer you can see down there and you have the sliding meat racks again half upper removal racks you've got your big six inch commercial casters with grease irks greasable bearings heavy duty two inch angle frames lower storage area down there and you've got your two inch drains and clean out down there as well these are going to get ball valves on there they're not on there right now but they will get ball valves uh, there's two inch ball valves. And those are two inch drains. And those will be small drains that clog up on them, right? These don't clog up. They're big. Two inch diameter uh, black pipe. There's your hopper thermometer for your cooking temperature on the side wall there. And all the inside of the pellet hopper comes out real easy. You've got a quarter inch thick uh, V shield or the flexor plate over a commercial cast iron H burner that's down below that as well. Uh, that lifts up and the burner itself is removable. No tools required guys. If you ever need to get to the bottom of your gas system in here, you don't need tools. You pull your lower food tray out and then you pull your V shield out and then you can access your commercial cast iron H burner down there and it doesn't even require tools to, to remove it and ever, if you ever got to replace it, it's that simple. The problem with gas grills are, by the time you got to replace all your burners, everything else is going to shit on you, right? You can't get to the screws because they're all rusted out, the fasteners or whatever's in there. Everything's gone to, gone to crap on you. So you don't have that with this, and that's if you ever would replace that H burner. I've only had one in 30 years get replaced. I don't know if anybody else has ever replaced those. Um, they're commercial grade cast iron, right? Heavy duty stuff. Anybody knows anything about commercial cooking equipment, you don't have stainless steel burners in your restaurant cooking equipment. You have cast, cast iron. We do the same thing with Gator Pit. It goes back to that quality. Uh, foot brakes on the swivels. You do have foot brakes right there. There's a slide vent here. You need to get some oxygen to that fire, not only through the Venturi tube down below, but you can get out more oxygen here if you need to as well. There's a side shot of it. Very nice. Back view. Birdhouse stacks. Gator Pit gauges. Nice, clean, pretty finish, right? A little dust on it. But talking about the, the end caps. No weld spatter. You don't see spatter on here. You got beautiful here. Let me close these doors. Let's just show you the quality of the construction of this thing. Not only is it all quarter inch thick steel, right? Fully flanged doors, but look at the welds on this thing. You don't see any spatter all around here like you see on, I'm not gonna mention names, like you see in a lot of other videos of cookers, right? There's always weld spatter just everywhere. I think like it's never seen a sanding disc. All right, the welds are all spotty grill welds. Not these guys, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beads. All right? Stainless steel cool touch handles. Our rod actually runs all the way through, right? Runs all the way through. This is a solid rod. A lot of guys put a little tit right here, a little tit right here, and then they, and then they, uh, <laughs> check this out. Hang on, Eddie, come here. <laughs> I'll put you on video, make uh -oh. you famous. Look, what, famous. look what Eddie just brought me. Hey, Eddie. Say hi to the world, man. Hey, the world. <laughs> he usually charges 150 bucks per question for advice. <laughs> but Jack, 
came back. That's funny, man. Hey, dude, I appreciate that, man. Hey, Thank man, you, brother. You, man. Hey, this is Eddie Machete. What's the name of your business? Rolling Bones Custom Barbecue and Catering. Rolling Bones Custom Barbecue and Catering. Where are you located, Eddie? Wherever you're hungry. <laughs> there you go, Find guys. Find me on Facebook at Rolling Bones. Bones is spelled with a Q. R O L L I N G B Q. There you go. There you go, guys. Eddie, pleasure, brother. Thank, Thank you. Take care, Man, you gotta love good customers. What can I say? Let me put that over here. That just, I would say that kind of interrupted my interview, but I'm, uh, my video, but I'm not gonna bitch about that one. All right, so let's get back to the quality of this gator pit, man. That was unexpected, guys. Back to these handles. So I'll, I weld the rods all the way through, right? So that's a solid rod right here on this handle. A lot of customers, or not customers, a lot of, a lot of welders or fabricators will put a little tit right here, a little tit right here. And then they squeeze that handle in there and they put it that in there and guess what when you go to open this thing up that thing's so loose in there your handle pops off in your hand you're not gonna have that with my gator pits all right we don't cut those corners just one little thing that we do that a lot of other people don't do man uh your gator pit gauges commercial gauges they are recalibratable there's a screw in the back right here to recalibrate them if you ever think you knocked them out of wax and they slammed your door whatnot you got your birdhouse stacks beautiful stacks gator pits known for birdhouse been Building these birdhouse stacks since I was 14 years old, guys. I kid you not. My very first pit I built, designed, and built was I was 14 years old in FFA, and it had the birdhouse stacks on there, man. That is a Gator Pit original, guys. You see that on anybody else's pits? <laughs> Guess where they got that from? Gator Pit. All right, so back to the side, uh, back, uh, back here. Prep brakes I mentioned, birdhouse stacks. We've got a uh, regular hose, quick connect, no tools required. Your tank holder. That is removable. It, it lifts up and unhooks off the back, and you can throw it on your storage area down there. If you're gonna roll this thing around, just take your, your tank holder off. It literally just pops up. I've got one hand, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Uh, this is an added feature to it. This customer wanted an umbrella or a flag mount, and this is where we put his flag mount or umbrella mount. Uh, I think it's a flag mount, actually, flagpole. Uh, umbrella mount would've been a little bigger. Uh, that, that's a gator pit pellet slash gas grill pellet smoker gas grill hot and fast low and slow guys doesn't get any better than that does it cook what you want how you want this thing will do it i'm rich robin gator pit of texas there's my contact information give me a call see what gator pit can do you for you see what i can design for you we are complete custom guys complete custom more contact info right there. Yep, we've been on all these TV shows, all these TV networks, really. We ship our, cust our, our customers are worldwide. We ship worldwide. So not only do I design pits, guys, but also have a catering business. I cater right there at the catering rig. There's one of them. There's another one in the back. You barely see the front of it. But this is my, my main catering trailer right there. So I cook, I cater, I design, I build. When it comes to barbecue pits, I do it all, guys. That's what, and all of that experience is why these cookers are what they are. I take all that experience since I was building and designing these at 14 years old and put it into these final products that you get when they arrive at your house or when you pick them up. And this one is fixing to get delivered uh, about three miles down from my house. In fact, it's so close, I'm throwing it on my trailer and bringing it to him myself. Uh, probably gonna be a little surprised when, he, when I show up and I get into the truck and personally deliver his pit. Uh, I don't do deliveries, but I am for this guy. I want to see his face when he sees this because he has yet to see it. He hasn't seen it. I'm Rich Robin. See ya.